Hey guys, I'm Mohammed Hassan and this is the electronics engineer channel and I'll be showing you in this video the use of uh, the accelerometer sensor it is ADXL345 uh, it measures the acceleration through the X and Y and Z axis uh, the positive direction of the Z axis is downwards so this uh, can communicate with the microcontroller through either I2C bus or uh, SPI. I'm using uh, in this uh, project uh, I2C. Uh, you don't need uh, to put uh, pull up resistors if you are using this module because uh, the pull up resistors are already connected to the sensor uh, on this board. Uh, also, if you are using I2C, you will need uh, to connect the chip select uh, to VCC uh, you can use 5 volt to supply because there is a regulator this uh, chip uh, works uh, between 2 and 3.3 uh, 3 volts or 3.6 uh, as I remember as written on the data sheet uh, the microcontroller takes uh, the data every uh, 2 seconds um, well, uh, this sensor can give the data uh, uh, 1600 uh, data rate uh, per second, but uh, we are using now uh, not uh, an application that uh, for uh, for inclination of uh, a certain body. Uh, the data are uh, the data are uh, sent to the PC through this RS232 uh, converter USB to RS232 convert, uh, RS232 converter so here we'll show you how the experiment will give us the inclination data now uh, we named uh, the angle alpha that is the inclination of x-axis with respect to the xy plane uh, when it is going uh, near or uh, far from uh, the z-axis and uh, the, uh, the beta angle it is that inclination of the y-axis with respect to the xy plane when it is going near or uh, far from uh, z-axis here uh, uh, the data is shown three lines the data x data y data z the gravity through on this uh, three axes and uh, the, uh, the angle alpha and beta so we may have some error with uh, respect to each axis as it is uh, given in the data sheet so we may not have a 100% uh, accurate data but uh, here we will see how the uh, data change I will change now alpha it is as you see 50 and I make it upwards so it will be almost 90 here it is 89.99 there is no change on the beta angle almost if I move it like this the beta angle will change now it is almost uh, 90 degrees you can have a change uh, with respect to two axes at the same time you can have it on the negative now the alpha, as you see, it is minus 50, minus 90, the beta now it is minus 90, and so on. If you find uh, this video beneficial, entertaining, educational, please uh, hit uh, the like button, subscribe, 
and if you have any suggestions to improve uh, the content of this channel please uh, leave your comments uh, below thank you and see you in another video